Well, okay. Uh, as we are really enjoying the chill, the, the chill of the breeze of this winter and the, the cold is surrounding us from everywhere. And every day we hope that it's going to become much warmer and, becomes, and it becomes much colder. So uh, it is proper that we uh, uh, should uh, care about our daily routine, the daily diet. We should care about our diet during winter and what to eat and what not to eat, what to avoid, what to keep us warm. But at the same time, does it ma doesn't make us uh, have, uh, add much weight. And when we talk about adding weight or losing weight, the best one to talk to us about that is uh, Dr. Munir William, the plastic surgeon. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Of course, as Dina said, uh, right now we're l going through a really chilly winter. Uh, how can we stay warm, eat warm things, but at the same time not gain weight? Very nice. To start with, uh, we have to speak about uh, all groups, all diet, all types of food in any country or the world is present and put inside a pyramid. So all food of uh, United States are put in the American pyramid of food. Mm -hmm. In Egypt, there is an American pyramid of food. This American pyramid of food is formed of four layers, and it contains six groups. Mm -hmm. In the basal layer, we find bread, pasta, rice, and beans. The carbohydrates. All these are the main food for the Egyptians. This is the first layer. In the second layer, we find two groups, group of fruits and group of vegetables. Mm -hmm. In the third layer, we find two groups, group of milk and group of proteins. In the apical layer, or in the fourth layer, we find the polysaccharides and starch. Here, in order to be adapted and to speak about eating food during winter, we have to put in mind our diet must contain five main groups. The first group is the energy group. And this energy group contains honey, contains molasses, contains uh, spinach, contains uh, milk and wheat and so on. This group gives energy which is important for warm weather. The second group must contain vitamins. And these vitamins, mainly vitamin A and B2 and vitamin C and vitamin E. These vitamins are very important for immunity in order to withstand weather, in order to withstand and uh, influenza, influenza uh, withstand the rhinitis and diseases of the winter. And these uh, uh, vitamins are present in vegetables and fruits. Mm -hmm. The third group contains minerals. And also minerals are very important because they help us to increase our immunity and withstand disease of winter. The fourth group is the anti-aging group and this is mainly present in milk and its constituents such as uh, cheese and yogurt and so on. And the fifth group is the protein group, which, and we know all together that protein is either of animal source such as chicken proteins or such as buffaloes and such as fish protein, and the best is fish protein in winter. And also there is a plant or a protein which is present in beans and corns and so on. So our diet in winter, in order to increase our immunity, to withstand skin diseases, in order to take energy to withstand winter, must contain these five groups. Group of anti-aging, group of energy, group of vitamins, group of proteins, and group of minerals. This is our main diet during winter. Yeah, but when we talk to the layman in the street about the food pyramid, it would be a little bit much complicated for him or for her to be able to understand. But when I'm planning to do a diet during this chilly winter, I would uh, love mainly to um, secure my immunity system or to maintain my or enhance my immunity system. Also, to have an anti-aging diet so as not to have a dry face or uh, brittle hair or or, uh, you know, I would like to look radiant. Mm -hmm. So if you could prescribe a quick a takeaway diet for me that would secure me all those needs and at the same time, I would be not starving myself. Okay. Very nice. Uh, in order to speak about my own control for diet regime during winter, I have to pass in three main uh, ways. The first way is diet control. Diet control, for my own opinion, is not to restrict some types of food and to take other types of food. But simply, you have to multiply your body weight by a number. 
And this number depends on your effort during this day. Suppose you are going today to make a hard effort, you have to multiply your body weight by number 40. Suppose your body weight is 60 kilograms, and uh, you, today you are going to make a hard work, multiply 60 kilograms by number 40, there is 2,040 calories. You have to take any type of diet, of diet containing these 2,400 calories. Suppose your effort today is medium, you have to multiply your body weight by 67. Suppose your effort today is uh, mild and no effort, you have to multiply your body weight by 34. So by this simple equation, you can calculate your effort. And of course, your... Is this in kilos or pounds? It is in your, uh, your body weight in kilos okay. multiplied by, of course, in kilos. Uh -huh. uh, multiplied by a uh, number of uh, number, this number from my own opinion. Okay. And you will find number of calories. You have to take any type of food, but never to exceed the number of calories you are going to take today. And of course, you are the doctor of yourself. Today, I am going to take hard effort. I have to multiply by number 40. To, uh, second day, you have no efforts. You have to multiply by 34, and so on. This is a first style uh, you have to take. Second line is the line of sport. Of course, you have to take to do something. At least you have to walk for at 20 up to 30 minutes per day. And this, of course, sport. Uh, line of treatment is very important because it prevents precipitation of fats on blood vessels. Also, it prevents formation of uh, 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 infections and what so on. Also, it makes absorption of fat from muscles less than that of fats in the subcutaneous tissue, and of course, your body will be good. The third line is the will. You have to take the will to continue your regime daily for life. It's a life control. So there is diet control, there is sport control, and there is will control. This is the simple equation to take and in order to be healthy without appearance of any wrinkles or age uh, lines. Mm -hmm. um, uh, if you can talk to us a little bit about, uh, you mentioned earlier uh, foods that uh, enhance the immunity. Can you just name a few of those that could enhance our immunity and help us against colds and flus and uh, all the viruses that come during the winter? The best are the fruits. Fruits contain many vitamins, which is uh, contain and exist mainly vitamin C, which is very important because it strengthens the blood capillaries and it makes it strong and increases blood supply to any organ inside the body. And this makes immunity high because it helps transformation and transmission of blood from certain place to another place. Mm -hmm. This is the main line of treatment. Also, proteins. In order to speak about proteins, whatever its source, whether it is of animal origin or plant origin, proteins contains an essential amino acid, which is tryptophan. Tryptophan, this essential amino acid, through proteins, it can pass through the blood-brain barrier in order to stimulate the brain to secrete a substance known as serotonin, this substance returns back from brain to the body, and this serotonin is very important. Why? Because, number one, it makes the body withstand pain. Number two, it makes the person to become calm. And this is very important for the person to withstand emotions of the day. Also, the, our diet must contain three main important <laughs> things. Banana, lettuce and the carrots. These three main important things contains excess of potassium and this potassium can pass through the blood brain barrier and this potassium passes through the blood and makes the blood more alkaline. Once the blood becomes alkaline, the patient and the person becomes calm and quiet and this is very important. So our diet must contain proteins which can give essential amino acids to withstand the pain and also must contain carrots, lettuce, and banana, which contain excess potassium, which makes the person alkaline, more alkaline and more calm and more quiet. These are the main diet to be taken during these few days. Uh, doctor, you talked about my daily intake of the calories. Let's say it's 2,000 and something, um, whatever it might be from the food. So if I, if I would like to take some, uh, like, cheesecake or... Uh, ice cream 
and I would not exceed the, in my, my daily intake of the calories, but it's not going to be nutritious and full of vitamins and elements uh, uh, as much as if I take from the carrots or the bananas or the beans or whatever could it be from the organic food, the, the fruits and vegetables and proteins. So how could that work in that case? Can you balance it out? Yes. It, uh, as you said, you, we could balance I am, I am, I disagree with preventing any type of food. You have to take any type you would like, but not but never is this to exceed. It's considered food. It's junk food. It's considered food. It contains calories, so mm -hmm. it's very important. So I agree. You can I take there are cheesecake. Some you can to take to cheesecake, yes, right? Yes. <laughs> you can take cheesecake. <laughs> you can take ice cream. What's the <laughs> problem? But you have to calculate the amount. Never to take the cake itself. But you have to take this <laughs> 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 and you can't have it every day. <laughs> yes, okay. You can't have cheesecake every day, right? Uh, and you can take the one day uh, ice cream. Never to exceed the calculated number. But mm -hmm. uh, you, uh, I, I myself, never to prevent any type of food from be, to be uh, prohibited uh, at all. Mm -hmm. You can take any type of food and you will be healthy and you will suffer nothing at all. But you have to calculate yourself, number of calories you are in need, how to eat it. I can put something and something and so on and so on, so on and my day at the end, my total calculation. And of course, this needs high education. I think this we are we are going to this line, but it needs a certain standard of population in order to be able to calculate this amount of food. The but awareness of exercise as well is very important. I mean, people need to be aware about exercise and the importance of exercise to our health, and people need to do this on a daily basis. Not a lot of people here in Egypt go to the gym regularly. Yes, uh, of course, exercise is very important in three ways. Exercise, number one, makes uh, uh, energy to be taken from, food, from fat and not from polysaccharides. So fat digestion is very important through exercise. Mm -hmm. Number two, exercise prevents precipitation of low density triglycerides. This is a certain type of proteins, of, of lipids present inside the body. And this prevention of precipitation of these triglycerides or these fats on wall of capillaries and blood vessels prevents ischemias and prevents uh, infarctions, different types of infarctions, whether in the heart or in the brain and so on. This is a kind of line. Third thing is that exercise makes uh, destruction and getting rid of fats from the muscles less than amount of fats to be destroyed from the subcutaneous tissue and the abdominal wall. And this makes the person stronger and can withstand pains and can withstand the effort of the day. Mm -hmm. So exercises are very important in these three main ways, of course. Mm -hmm. So it's healthy food must contain certain type of protein, must contain fruits, must contain vegetables. All these help the skin to be healthy, nails to be healthy, hair to be healthy. Person will not suffer from uh, and the a aging and age lines and wrinkles and so on. And of course, once you are going in this line, you are away from doctors and plastic doctors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. We keep hearing about antioxidants and the uh, different types of foods w w which, uh, which are full of antioxidants, like the almonds, like the uh, macadamia, like, you know, the different types of raw nuts and uh, the, or the oil, uh, different types of oil. This is very important because it's like cleansing our system from different toxics. If you could elaborate on that. Uh, don't go away from uh, uh, different types of food. Of course, antioxidants are present and exist. And this cheap food in front of us in all types of vegetables and all types of fruits. You will find these, free, uh, these uh, antioxidants present mainly they are vitamin C, vitamin E, and certain types of minerals such as cadmium and molybdenum, these antioxidants can help the body to get rid of free radicals present inside the body. And of course, our age increase by excess of accumulation of excess of free radicals inside of the body. So we can get of these free radicals. You are more healthy, more younger, and more. Uh, I myself don't like to rush to uh, very expensive types of foods in order to get free radicals. You can mm -hmm. find the free radicals in everything green 
or orange or red. You can find it in fruits. You can find it in vegetables. vegetables. This is the easy way to find it. But of course mm -hmm. you can find it in nuts, you can find it and so on, different types of oils and so on. But it's better to shift towards the cheaper way, which is easier even in digestion. Mm -hmm. And even and in low its calories. Way. Uh, yes, and uh, amount of calories is very low. So it's but green, red, or yellow? Or yellow. So I guess the tip of the day is eating lots of vegetables and fruits and uh, keeping a healthy lifestyle by exercising. Yes. Dr. Dr. Yes. William, uh, plastic surgeon, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. For coming. And I guess uh, this is where we end uh, this edition of The Breakfast Show. Uh, Reen Noor, thank you very much. Reen, always a pleasure. Please uh, hope you have a really good day. Please stay tuned. We do have more coming up. The French transmission starts right after The Breakfast Show. Thanks for watching.